Ned Fulmer recently got exposed and cancelled for cheating on his wife. And the Try Guys are taking it so hard that they are now suing him for destroying their company and everything that they worked for. So is Ned going to fight back and make the scandal worse, or is he really going to go down without a fight? Ned Fulmer is one of the Try Guys, well, at least he was before he was exposed and kicked out of the group by the other members after he pulled a move that potentially put the entire company at risk. Now, before we get into the details of how things got so bad between Ned and his former partners, we need to go over some details of his personal life first. Ned founded the Try Guys with his partners and friends Keith Habersberger, Zach Kornfeld, and Eugene Leanne. He is also married to Ariel Fulmer and they have two kids together. Ariel also makes regular appearances on the Try Guys show and fans of the show will easily recognize her. So the Try Guys were an equal team, which means that they got more or less the same amount of screen time in their videos and they made all important decisions regarding their show and their YouTube channel together. But then, a few months ago, Fans of the show started to notice something strange. Ned was growing more and more absent from the show. Even worse, it was obvious that he was being cut out of already pre-recorded content, and people started wondering what on earth was going on. There were speculations among the viewers and people started wondering if Ned wanted to leave the Try Guys or if the team was even going to break up completely. But what happened next shocked everyone because it was revealed that Ned was cheating on his wife, Ariel. Like that wasn't bad enough, it was also revealed that the woman he was cheating on his wife with is none other than Alexandria Herring, aka Alex. Fans of the show will recognize Alex because she is a producer for Try Guys and has made several appearances on the show, so she is almost as well known as the Try Guys themselves. Alex has been in a long-term committed relationship with Will Thayer who she has been dating for 11 years and they are engaged to be married. Things started falling apart when Ned and Alex stopped being careful to hide the affair and they were spotted out and about by someone who recognized them. The person then supposedly sent a DM to Alex's fiancé, Will, and this is where things got insane. The scandal blew wide open when a Reddit user with the username Hamilton390 shared some screenshots of someone exposing Ned and Alex. The source spotted Ned and Alex making out and sent the proof to Will's DM on Instagram, saying, Hi, I was just wondering if Alex was in New York, because if so, there's something you should know, unfortunately. Will then replied, Yeah, she was. Why? And the source said, So basically, I went out to Niagara the club last night and saw her making out with Ned from the Try Guys. I have videos if needed. She was wearing a red dress if that helps. They weren't even trying to be private. The entire time, they were making out, and he was touching her too, and all that stuff. The Reddit user also posted this picture of Ned and Alex making out, and this is what convinced everyone. The scandal was shocking because Ned built his entire persona around being the good guy and a family guy, and would often talk about how much he loves his wife. My 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 wife. He even has Ariel Fulmer's husband in his bio and was also known as the wife guy. So it was really shocking for everyone to see Ned who had his entire personality based off being a wife's husband cheating. Not long after the post went viral, the Try Guys posted a statement on their Twitter page confirming the news and announcing that Ned was no longer part of the Try Guys. They said, Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. As a result of a thorough internal review, we do not see a path forward together. We thank you for your support as we navigate this change. The Try Guys finally uploaded a video where they addressed the scandal and they had a lot to say and the first thing they said was that Ned was no longer working with them. Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. They claimed that they only got to know about the affair on Labor Day when people started reaching out to them claiming that they saw Ned and Alex engaging in inappropriate behavior. On Labor Day weekend, multiple fans alerted us that they had seen Ned uh, and an employee engaging in public romantic behavior. We reached out to check on that employee. Uh, Ned confirmed the reports and since confirmed that this had been going on for some time, which was obviously very shocking to us, and we just want you to know that we had no idea this was going on. Uh, all of that information was just as shocking to us as all of this has been for you this week. Then they confirmed the speculations, admitting that they had, indeed, been cutting Ned out from the pre-recorded videos that they posted after they got to know about the affair. We immediately removed Ned from work activities and engaged an HR professional to conduct a thorough review of the facts. We also opted to remove Ned from our releases pending the re results of that review. Over a few weeks, that's included removing his section from videos, digitally removing him from others, 
Then they revealed that they had launched an internal investigation against Ned and found out that the allegations against him were true. And thus began a three-week process of engaging with employment lawyers, corporate lawyers, HR, PR, and more in order to make sure we were taking all necessary steps. From the jump, we were acutely aware of just how contrary this was to the values of the company we've built and those of everyone who works here. This is something we took very seriously. We refused to sweep things under the rug. That is not who we are and is not what we stand for. And that the other three members of the team signed a document to evict Ned as both a manager and an employee. Now we can't talk about the details of the review, but suffice to say, we found that Ned had engaged in contact, we, well, conduct unbecoming of our team, and we knew that we could not move forward with him. So on Friday, September 16th, the three of us signed written consent of the members of Second Try LLC approving the removal of Ned as a manager and an employee. So what this means is that Ned will never again appear on Try Guys, and neither will he have anything to do with the production of the show. He will also no longer be involved in any aspect of the show, including management, decision-making, production, or any of the other things that go into the production of the show. Now, when the Reddit post was made and the scandal burst open, there were accusations from people that the Try Guys knew about the affair and were trying to cover it up. So as to protect Ned, and also not to damage their reputation. This is because the Try Guys are family-centered, and some of their content shows their marriages and how they navigate marriage, parenthood, and other things. Ned even has a podcast with his wife named Baby Steps, which is about how they are raising their family. So because of this, there were accusations that the team was initially trying to cover up the scandal so as to save face and protect themselves, and this is why Alex's fiancé got mad and decided to expose them on Reddit. Somebody said, you're telling me none of the other Try Guys knew anything was going on and just turned a blind eye. LA is big but it's not that big. They got a lot of positive comments for the way they handled the situation, with someone saying, on a professional note, this is the most eloquently handled situation despite how unfortunate it is. And on a personal note, lots of love to you and your families. Not only does it hurt, but it is a big unexpected change in the dynamic of how you guys work every day. Try and keep your chin up, guys. Tomorrow's a new day and you got this. And somebody else said, Ned chose to hurt everyone around him, the company he built, his family, friends, co-workers, by doing this. It sucks, and I'm proud of you guys for holding him accountable. Thank you for setting a better example than most would in such a situation. Many people expected Ned to try and fight back because after all, he did build the company up along with the other members, but to everybody's surprise, he chose to accept it without trying to fight back. He posted a statement on Twitter that said, Family should have always been my priority, but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship. I'm sorry for any pain that my actions may have caused to the guys and the fans, but most of all, to Ariel. The only thing that matters right now is my marriage and my children, and that's where I am going to focus my attention. So he made it more than clear in his statement that he was not going to try to fight or appeal the decision of the other members, and he was going to accept his dismissal without making a fuss. His wife, Ariel, also confirmed that they were focusing on their family and nothing else. It's going to be interesting to see if and how he bounces back from this scandal. But in the meantime, check out this other video.